Hello, welcome again to Creative Imagineering and this time I'm going to show you how to do photoshopping without photoshop. See you soon. Hello again. My last video ended with a photo of myself and my friend Lee in costume in a Star Wars scene. Now you might be tempted to think that this photo was photoshopped. Well it wasn't. Remembering that Photoshop is the name of an app, it has somehow become synonymous with the idea of editing images. But no, I did not Photoshop this image. I didn't use Pixlr, I didn't use GIMP, even though those two are free. I used something far more basic, something that more people have and are more uh, familiar with, and that's PowerPoint. Uh, PowerPoint's been around a lot longer since video projectors, so it was originally used for creating prints. Maybe print out on paper, maybe even the big flip charts. But either way, right from the word go, PowerPoint has been quite a decent image editor. And this is what I want to show you today. So this particular photo started off looking like this. And some of the colouring, as you can see in the lightsaber, is a little bit too close to the wall. So that can create some problems, but it's certainly possible to do. And that's the end result. In fact, the uneven edge on the lightsaber kind of gives it more of that uh, fiery look about it, which I quite like. Here's another photo. Same area of the school. And now Star Wars style. Okay, and if you look really, really carefully, you might be able to see here I haven't cleaned up the um, this V properly. Okay, PowerPoint's not perfect, but it is quick and it is easy to use. So I used it for something else. In fact, on that costume day, the kids knew I was coming to school in a Star Wars costume, so I decided to start the day as Captain Kirk. So I've got my yellow shirt here, just an ordinary black pair of pants, they're not the bell bottoms that they wore on the TV show, but I don't really want to wear those. <laughs> Anyhow, there's my costume, I've got my midget phaser and uh, almost life-size, I think, communicator in my other hand. And I turned it into this. Okay, now if you look, notice, you'll notice that the communicator here and here is different. That's because I took my that part of the photo out of this one here. Okay, I could not isolate uh, the communicator effectively from the background, so I had to use a bit of um, cutting and pasting to um, sort out that problem. And that was simply by using cropping. I mean, this is one of the nice things. Cropping in PowerPoint is actually quite easy to do. You can do it by a shape or, or whatever. So for this demo, I'm going to use this photo. I haven't tried using this photo yet, so I can't say how it's going to come out. And I want to put it on this background. Okay, so we'll start with this image first. And maybe just to make life easier, I will create a new slide, just so we've got a plain background to work with. Okay, okay. so on your picture toolbar, all the way over to the left, is a whole bunch of really cool tools. And one of them is remove background. But before I do that, I think there's a little bit too much brightness in this shot, certainly for that photo that I'm using. So I'm going to change that a bit with this tool. There we go, that's a little bit more like it. And now I'll remove the background. That will make the removing of background a little bit easier. Now you can see here we've got mark areas to keep, mark areas to remove. And the computer or the app has tried its very best to choose what it thinks you want. Obviously, it's always going to be wrong. There are some occasions I've found where it's been very close, but it's always going to miss something. It's going to pick on something that's strong. So what we do now is we're going to, we want to keep my head, obviously. <laughs> Don't want to lose my head. So I'm just going to draw a line through the space like that. And I've got my head back, right? Oh, it looks like the collar's gone. So I'm going to select the collar. As I'm selecting, I'm being careful not to touch an area that's already there because that can confuse the color selection in the app. 
okay, the back of my communicator is not uh, safe, so I'll make it safe. And I will get my trousers in the shot. Okay, it hasn't worked. Let me try again. Okay, keep going. Sometimes you just got to keep going because of varying tone in the original image. Now you notice when I did that before, part of it disappeared, and then the second time, part of it disappeared. So what we need to do is eliminate what we don't want now. If we've got what we want, now we've got to eliminate what we don't want. So I'll go to Mark Areas to Remove, and I will just wipe through here. Okay, in this case it didn't matter that I touched the background. It's more crucial when you're working with this. But yeah, as you can see here, it did bring back some of this, so I need to get rid of that. Okay, I don't want my records folders showing up in the um, image. So it's just a matter of keep working at it until I've eliminated everything I don't want. I don't want my lightsaber showing up in the background. So that can go. It's still a little bit visible here. Just be careful not to take away the shirt. Still a little bit too much. There we go. Okay, now you notice I've got my Nissan car key hanging here, so why don't I get rid of that as well? Okay, now that was a lucky one that I didn't lose any of my trousers, so it's of almost the same shade of black. So, looks like I've got everything I want, so all I'm going to do now is click on Keep Changes. Now I've got my photo. So I'm going to take it back to this slide. Um, I'm only switching between slides because I wanted you to see how this was done without the background in the way. Um, so I'm going to maximize the background now to fill this. I don't have to, but that's just how I want to do it. Okay, if you remember your Star Trek episodes, you'll know that this scene is from The Cage, which was recycled as a two-part episode called The Menagerie. And this is where Captain Christopher Pike finds himself into all kinds of trouble. Yeah, trying to balance now the size of myself with the rocks. Remembering, of course, that this castle is the distant background, so I don't need to be too small, but I do need to be realistic. Um, now I've just got to work out some more color correction. The original color correction wasn't enough, so I'm going to play around with it a bit more. That one's nice. Just a matter of just running through these until you find something that you're actually happy with. Oh, that's awful. Not so good. Now, if you look here, I think the color tone is better, and the shining on my forehead matches the shining on the domes on top of the castle. So I'm inclined to think about that one as my option. And of course in the actual episode the actors were a little bit more clearly defined than this so I think that's a fairly good blend. And that's it guys, job done! Okay this image turned out to be fairly easy to edit and now I have myself sitting on, or well standing I should say, on Rigel can't remember what planet number, but on Rigel anyway, about to see whatever foe comes my way. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's a simple and effective way to eliminate the background from an image. It doesn't have to be a green or blue screen background, although that obviously would make life significantly easier. But if you're in a party and you're in costume and you think, oh, that pose in that photo might make a good shot, hey, go ahead and do it. I hope that helps guys and I will see you next time. Bye bye.